This video is sponsored by The Flywheel DIY Automotive. Work on your own car in a clean, modern, kitted out workshop with all the latest tools and equipment you need to get your project done and back on the road. Equipment such as a two and four post lift, bearing presses, impact tools, engine hoist, complete tool sets, and much more. Our variety bash car would not have been ready on time if it wasn't for The Flywheel DIY Automotive. Visit theflywheel.com.au and mention we sent you. So, Kuro, we haven't been filming a lot. We haven't been filming a lot because we have been super busy. I apologize for that. Um, so, we went to a driver's meeting a few days ago, and that was the final meeting. And we were supposed to have everything done by then, and we're not. And we're living basically the day after next. And we're still sorting, sorting things out on the car. We're still frantically trying to fix things. So yeah. we've got a dual tank system in place at the moment. Yeah. So do you want to explain how it works? Or well, okay. So that's the primary fuel tank. We're so right that's there. the tank you fill up. Yes. So as you can see, we've still got the normal uh, ent or feed line to the yep. carburetor. Yep. From that. here. Yep. And that's the return. And that's the return line. And then what we did was. We added in a extra line there. Yep. Yep. And just like got a fitting from uh, Pertec and then just sort of epoxied it in yep. into the into the sender. It's actually quite strong. Yeah, the uh, epoxy is really good. So that is actually then you can see here on the second tank. Yep. So on the second tank we are taking up the, the take up line. Yep. That's nice towards a fuel pump, yep. a low pressure fuel pump, which low is about two, about 2 psi, yep. which then feeds directly into our modified um, middle yep. entrance. And the, and the way that you feel, which is not the right way of doing it, yeah. but the way that you feel the auxiliary tank is it's spill, it's spillover system. So when this thing gets way full to the brim, yeah. It hopefully theoretically will spill over into, we'll spill over into the this second tank, <laughs> which I'm, we, we're thinking that it's going to take a long time to fill. Yeah. But once we do get it in, we're going to have 120 odd liters of yeah of fuel. Yeah. So what happens is once the primary tank runs out, we then switch on a yeah. switch inside the cabin, which will this pump. pump will start pumping. Yeah, we really need to test it out now. Yeah, so then we're going to have like an extra tank of fuel. That's the theory. It's the theory. That's so, the, the reality? We're about to find out. We're about to find out. We might, ha we might have to raise this tank. Like raise this side, right? Raise it up? Like put some packing under it. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because see the line, how that sits low? Yes. Compared to that? Yeah, a little bit. That's concerning. All right, well, all we can do is try. All we can do is try. Okay. What happened? No, no, no. I just knock, knock that. Oh. How's about I don't smash another window? All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, we re had to replace this window as well because when we were welding, a bit of welding slag fell uh, on the glass and then it shattered. Because oh. we've got nothing else to do, really, is replace yeah. the windscreens. <laughs> gonna fill up this tank and just run the pump and just see if, if the pump works and if it puts fuel into this tank and then if that works and we'll go to the petrol station we'll fill this to the brim and we'll see if we can fill that tank. Pass you the jerry can. One handedly. Ah, it's heavy. We should be able to do 500 on one tank. And most people we spoke to are like, oh, we're just taking a jerry can. Um, but we like to do things the hard way. Yeah, we do. So we bashed in another tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're on your way. There's a good thing the funnel's nice and big. I know. Do we, do we buy this? No, surely we wouldn't buy this. That's uh, Steve's. No, of course it's Steve's, because it works. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're probably diet, right? Yeah, but it seems to be just clear now. 
I mean, we can literally just, like, even if, even if it doesn't work, for the 500 stretch, just have, fill that in like that, you know? And then, and then just, you know, so just like a one show pony. Oh, you want the crimper? Yeah. That's my crimper that I bought. Dude, that, I like this crimper. Yeah, Jake off. You right? Yeah, go. Yep. Are you ready? All right, take two. Mucked around with the clamps. Success. No leaks. No leaks. Pumps pumping. Transferring from auxiliary tank to the main tank. So now all we've got to do is try out is go to petrol station and see if it like just see how that looks. Right? Yep. And just got it hooked up to a switch underneath the dash. Oh there it is. It's that simple. So one more day and we're off. Can you believe that? The first fill up. Yeah. For the two tanks. Just testing it out. Just testing it. We've got 40 litres in there. Just trying to see if there's any leaks on the uh, crossover pipe. Hopefully not. Yeah. Mm. All right. So what's this? This is smear campaign 2.0. Smear campaign 2.0, kids. So we went to the petrol station and there was fuel basically coming out of every hole. Well, mainly these. Yeah, there's coming out of the the sender sort of they, they, flanges. They don't have gaskets. They didn't have any gaskets in there. They had just had the the O ring. The, the O ring in there. Yeah, that's what I put in there. Yeah, okay. Because the gaskets were stuffed. Yeah. So. So we put some. Silicon based sealer and hoping they will hold. But the good news is, when this tank got full, this tank started filling up. And this tank already had half in it, so probably 30 litres, and we managed to squeeze in another 111 litres. So, like, we have like really like 140 litres total in this car, which is freaking amazing like you know <laughs> like we should be able to do maybe a thousand k's or something like k's. that <laughs> you know we won't be stopping for fuel that's for sure yeah so things to do so we're on just a reminder we only got one more day before we leave we're going to fit the box on the back here the sort of dry box uh we still got to get two spare tires uh we've got to change the lsd the right lsd oil which is the stuff we got in there is too thin. I think it was like 8590, which is not ideal for cone style viscous LSDs. Um, yeah. There's still plenty of things to do, and then tomorrow I guess we'll just get on with it and pack the car. And I got my swag here and my swag cover and mattress. Let's right? do it. Okay. All right, let's do it. I'm done with the fuel system. Fuel system, I'm enough. sick of it. I'm just making you holes, right? Yeah, that's fine. Put enough text into anything, it will hold, eh? This is factory tech screw.
Check it out, guys. Got the box fitted. It's looking sweet. I've got a number as well on the back. Sort of doing final bits of wiring pieces and but yeah, she's almost ready to go. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to DIY the flywheel, the workshop that we've been at. Without this workshop, without this workshop, nothing honestly, would no. we would have had to cancel this whole event. They donated their time, their workshop facilities. That's right. For free, just because we so, need to get this. Once again, apologies for not filming so much. Um, just. It's just been hectic. We're leaving tomorrow morning. Like we've been at it all day today, running around, getting spare tires, um, just fixing things, um, getting the pitman arm. Like the pitman arm was uh, worn out on the steering, so we, uh, Con drove it to uh, Barry uh, Cronlow's up in the Myrie there, and um, you know he swapped it out for us as a champ. Um, Man, like we mounted the box last night, um, and it's got this has all uh, sort of uh, dry gear in there. Can't see much, need the light, but mm. um, auxiliary battery. Still contemplating whether to take this or not. 24 volt fridge. <laughs> <laughs> How are we gonna run it? We have an inverter. We have an inverter, yeah. Not the greatest we'll just idea. Have to, yeah, run it on the inverter. Check it out guys, got this little hammer on the side, made, oh. a little, made a little bracket for it. I mean, it's going to bounce a bit. But... Take that off and show the people, that's an amazing bit yeah. of uh, manufacturing. There. So, um, I saw this axle or like gearbox shaft, something like that. I don't know what it is at a, um, a shop, so like a second hand shop out in the country, so I bought it, and then I thought, well, it looks like a handle for, for a Thor's hammer. Like, yeah, but the, the piece of resistance is yeah. the, uh, your um, metal work. Look at this. Yeah, so I just sort of welded this up, you know, just made a box out of steel and just polished up with a flap wheel and sort of ground the welds a bit and gave it some clear coat. And yeah, everyone seems to be pretty impressed by it. Someone's already asked me to make them one. Well, yeah, if anyone out there wants one of these. <laughs> There's a bit of weight to it. Yeah. I was going to fill it with sand, but then I thought, nah. That's a bad idea. That's probably dangerous. So, so that, that sits here. We'll see how that goes. It might just be a rattly. Oh, it'll definitely be a rattly uh, yeah, thing. Yeah, I think it's rattly. Most, most definitely. We can tie it to this with a strap. At least cable tie. Um, so okay, for now it's okay there. Yeah. So, we gave the car a wash as well. So it's looking pretty. Um, what else have we done? Just not much really. Just little things, electrical. And so she drives and she stops. And just sort of spent a lot of time just doing little details and make sure the tailgate shuts nice and fitted an awning. Which we haven't even opened yet. We haven't even opened it yet. Yeah, it's <laughs> brand new. Yeah. In some campers we are. Um, yeah, it's, so tomorrow morning uh, we're off on the convoy. Um, yeah, the motor's running okay. I always ran. I just dialed a bit on the timing, just gave it a bit more timing, just sort of has a bit more pickup. Um, fitted a new air cleaner, the air filter element, sorry. Um, oh, the uh, front light? Yeah, we fitted the front uh, LED light, which is pretty bright. I'll turn that on in a sec for you guys, so you can have a look. Uh, fitted this dust, factory uh, dust uh, seal. So when the bonnet shuts, it sort of seals, protects the engine from dirt. And uh, yeah, uh, this era of cars, all the electrical connectors don't have rubbers in them. 
so they're just kind of open to the elements actually that's one thing we should probably have sprayed all the connectors out before we left but I sprayed a lot of them out you know cleaned them out with contact cleaner hmm. um, so the motor's okay I fitted a new clutch cable um, we've got a little light in the front on top there we've got a little flashing light too which I haven't even connected just yet. Yeah, oh, it well. just sort of connects via this, so... Not sure how we can... Oh, we can open the window, run it into the window. Yeah, we could do that. Run it into here. But yeah, I mean... That's it, we're sending it tomorrow. We're sending it tomorrow yeah. morning and we're literally driving eight and a half hours yep. uh, to a campsite with a bunch of other guys and girls. And then day after that we're in Dampier, and then uh, on Friday we, uh, we're off. We're off uh, bush bashing. We're off bush bashing. We don't know exactly what or where, but we've got a... Um, they've given us a bash bible, which has everything on there. Which we haven't even read yet. We haven't even read. We've got enough time. We've got, we've got about uh, <laughs> a good eight hours of, uh, yeah. of driving to yeah, get through that. That's right. So. Um, that's it. Yeah, pretty much. Holy moly. Yeah, it's happening. So if you see this monstrosity on the road, watch out for number 93. That's us. <laughs> Not that there's going to be another get, one of these on the road. Get a shot of these lights. Yep, she's bright. Amazing. Wow. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Yeah. All right, well, I'll see if I can actually get home and edit this and ah. dump it up on our... All right. So, yeah. Tune, tune in. Tune in. We'll, we'll upload some videos from the bash. Let's see how that goes. All right. C is all up there. Yeah. Let's get a shot of our sponsors. Say hello, say thank you.